it's a it's yeah. a good it's a good year for gaming at least at least that's the silver lining for 2020 <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing that you know i mean at least like as gamers we can say hey i mean it's a pretty shitty year you know but we got more games we got more things to go with our games you know so i guess we can be happy about that yeah and i guess i'll use that to jump into into facebook's facebook's connect you know which used to be oculus connect facebook finally came right out and you know they they said okay we are finally officially announcing and allowing pre-orders for the oculus quest 2 which basically single-handedly like immediately with that announcement they literally killed i'd say most of the vr industry uh it happened like and i think facebook like this is what they wanted a hundred percent this is what they wanted because they're selling the oculus quest 2 at starts at 300 dollars. it is a standalone vr headset which means it does not need to be tethered to a pc but it can be tethered to a pc the the specs of the the screens and everything or, or i should say screen because it is one single lcd panel for both eyes uh it <laughs> it's kind of crazy because we're talking about you know 2k per eye and that's that's better than what the rift s has so they kind of killed the rift s like with this they like the rift s is still being sold but no but like there's no reason to buy it there is it's more expensive it it isn't a standalone headset so it cannot function by itself it has to work function with a pc whereas the quest 2 is cheaper better specs and it can function as a standalone headset so it's like the rift lineup just dead now are they just like not going to make anymore i i believe so so I, and the quest is going to be like their premier uh headset now right yep it looks like the quest and the funny thing is that when i was watching the event uh there was a lady in it who like you know they were they were talking about the advances with the quest and stuff and she literally openly said yeah it's better than the rift <laughs> <laughs> and i was just like okay so you you guys admitted it you just killed your own product line cool awesome that's that's messed up but cool <laughs> i'd say what facebook is doing here is they're kind of trying to trying to get a ahead of everybody else and they're doing this by heavily subsidizing the price of the quest 2 and the reason why i say it's heavily subsidized is because the the chipset that they're using in there is the qualcomm xr2 um for the you know the processing chip and that chip is it's it's the flagship chip of anything to do with vr ar and it's not cheap it's not cheap at all so for them to be able to put that chip in there with all the advances that like again with the screen advancements it's lighter um, better battery life for them to do all of that and then still make it cheaper than the original quest i bought my original quest for 400 dollars last year and it is great but like one thing i can say is one thing i didn't like with it is the weight so like for them to to make it better like literally double the performance make it lighter and cheaper that's that's huge they're definitely taking they're subsidizing it so they're 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 eating some of the cost and transferring some of that savings to the to the to the buyer but they're doing that for the reason for the simple reason of getting ahead of everybody else i don't know i'm just to play devil's advocate here but mm -hmm. there's been a trend recently of chinese phone manufacturers that sell phones at a cheaper cost like flagship phones at a cheaper cost but that's because they're selling you ads and you mentioned last week in, in our last episode that you were kind of worried about uh, how facebook uh, took over oculus you're worried about like a vr adpocalypse uh, yeah. situation so do you think that's a, like a, a concern do you think like they'll try to recover that course by selling trying like selling data or selling or place on ads um so yes and no, the reason why I say that is because the thing of the thing about it with with doing that, like, for example, Chinese phone manufacturers doing that, the markets for phones is already massive and it's it's present like it's not going away. So it's like, OK, 
let's jump into this mature market. Let's see if we can, you know, lower, get, get something, make something cheap enough that people then want to buy and then make money on the back end, right? I think what Facebook is doing here is they're not so much focused as on delivering like an ad experience and, or selling an ad experience just yet. They want to get this into the hands of everybody first, get it intertwined with their lives where it becomes something that it, it's it's a it's like a stake. You know, it's the next smartphone It's something that, you know, people want to and to some extent have to use. I think that's what they're trying to do. And then once they get to that point where they have like this capture, this captive audience, then that's when they're like, OK, now we could now we could roll it out because they can't. Like, what are they going to do? They can't work without it. They can't live without it. We have a captive audience. They can't, they can't fight it, you know? Mm. It might be Apple in them. That's what you It might be pulled on, pulled on Apple. I mean, it, let's, it worked out for Apple. So I think they're following the Apple ecosystem kind of uh, concept. And uh, the thing is, you know, we, we see this with, uh, you know, Facebook. Again, we spoke about this last week. Facebook recently putting Facebook on WhatsApp, you know, Facebook by I don't know, WhatsApp by Facebook, you know, uh, Instagram by Facebook. So it's like, I think they're slowly moving in that direction where it's like, all right, we want you to know who your overlords are now. <laughs> and uh, we just want you to be familiar with it. You know, so, so when we start rolling things out, you guys can't say no. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, they tried making a phone and that failed miserably. So maybe this maybe this is where they succeed this is where they get to stamp their claim on uh on 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 the world that like that extends further than every boomer on, on the planet i mean honestly it's not a bad place to do it um i think vr again personally speaking i, th I think vr is it's not going to be like the future. I don't think like it's going to take over everything, but i think it's going to be a large staple in the future and a lot of people are going to use it, but it's, it's just one of those things where it's going to develop and it's going to be there and they know that and they're just trying to get ahead of the competition early.